in this installment, we're going to be going over part two of the first round of the NFL draft, picks 11 through 20. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Chef D, and I'm here to bring you the winning ingredients for your NFL mock draft round one picks 11 through 20. But before I deep dive into our second part series of the Thursday NFL draft, guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MetsNetSheds D. Don't forget about that TikTok at Chef underscore D91. And don't forget about the Patreon. You're looking at the Patreon right now. We had a awesome awesome Sunday. We had uh, the money line of the Warriors. The New York Knicks came through. The Minnesota Timberwolves as well. That was the late night sleeper. They they were big under not big under but decent sized underdogs. A lot of people thought the Nuggets were going to sweep the Timberwolves, but they came through and won that game here. The next bet was uh, obviously I waited on the Timberwolves a little bit later in that game um, and you got a better number at plus 210 that came through as well and uh, I had Timberwolves earlier uh, just to cover that four and a half because I thought they was going to win anyway so that four and a half was just uh, a bonus right there so guys if you want winning picks we have the NFL draft coming up picks are going to be out for that as well we have the rest of the NBA uh, playoffs and the NBA finals the futures is going to be out, out on that as well guys sign up for that Patreon right now don't miss out on winning selections that link is down below we are now at pick 11 and this is where we're going to start off at we left off with the philadelphia eagles here and peter skaronski taking an offensive tackle there a uh, very versatile offensive tackle slash guard slash center there so that was a great selection now we're at pick 11 tennessee titans here this is a huge team need here in offensive tackle they did go out and get andre dillard but they need someone on the right tackle side for whoever the quarterback is going to be for this tennessee titans team all right most likely it will not be be Ryan Tannehill. So we're going to go best available tackle here. And that will be Ohio State Paris Johnson Jr. Um, he is uh, the best one on the board right now. Has good athleticism for offensive linemen. And he can play both tackle and guard. So we have a little bit of versatility for the Tennessee Titans there. If they want to put him on the other side of Andre Dillard. Or they want to move him in, inside as a guard. So love this selection here for Paris. Johnson Jr. for the Tennessee Titans. Next will be the Houston Texans. At pick 12, Houston Texans here in their first selection at number two, they went out and got their franchise quarterback in C.J. Stroud. All right now we have rookie head coach here in D'Amico Ryans. He's defensive minded uh, coordinator, now head coach, and he's going to want to get his anchor. All right, someone in the elk of a J.J. Watt or Jadavion Clowney in the previous years of the Houston Texans. So the guy that they're going to be looking for, we're going to go with Edge here, and that's going to be Lucas Van Ness of Iowa here. Uh, has a relentless motor, but is a bit raw. He was a great performer in the combine. Outstanding numbers there. That's why he's going to be boosted up to the spot at number 12. Uh, now we have the Green Bay Packers. This is the new pick here for the Green Bay Packers. Uh, at number 13, the Aaron Rodgers trade just went through. So now uh, they swap picks with the New York Jets, moving from 15 to 13. Now the Green Bay Packers have uh, an option here. They have some. Well, who are they going to go with? Tight end, uh, edge, D line, cornerback. You know what's going to be funny? The year that. Aaron Rodgers is going to be gone. They're going to go first round wide receiver. All those years that Aaron Rodgers was begging for a talented wide receiver, uh, he wasn't going to get it. But the hilarious thing is they're going to give it to Jordan Love because they have to. They absolutely have to. They're all in on Jordan Love. And if you're looking at the roster, you have Romeo Dubs. Christian Watson was a huge bright spot. He's looking like the number one wide receiver now. But we need a sidekick. All right, we need more help on that uh, in that wide receiver court, and we're going to with Jackson Smith Najimba here, absolutely outstanding wide receiver from Ohio State, alongside of Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave. He was the lead alpha in that offense when he was healthy in 2021. Uh, next season, he was hampered with an injury, but. 
uh, outstanding combine. JSN uh, it was clearly the number one wide receiver coming out that combine, and it's duly noted here. And that's why the Green Bay Packers are going to be taking him at number 13. At pick 14, we have the New England Patriots here. And I think we got a little bit of a run of the wide receivers here. So, year after year, the New England Patriots continue to try to get their wide receivers out of the free agency. And that has continued to fail them, all right, year after year. Uh, last year, we saw the likes of the Devontae Parker, Kendrick Bourne. Uh, they drafted Tyquan Thornton, but he was pretty much a bust. So we're going to, we're going to go with a wide receiver in the first round, nice and early. Someone that's super, super talented. Uh, Jordan Addison here uh, from USC. He was, has game-breaking speed, and he had an incredible 2021 season uh, with 17 touchdowns with Kenny Pickett throwing him the football. Uh, solid season in USC as well, but going to Bill Belichick, and hopefully we can uh, build around Mac Jones or uh, whatever quarterback is going to be in their future. But Jordan Addison is too talented uh, to, to drop any further here. So the Patriots are going to finally get their guy um, at that wide receiver position and be the number one alongside of Juju Smith-Schuster. At pick 15, this is the new selection here for the New York Jets after that trade with Aaron Rodgers. Uh, they've moved back and swapped with the Green Bay Packers here, and this is going to be their selection here at number 15. One of the freaking requirements pretty much with Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers needs uh, offensive line help, okay? Obviously, they have Makai Becton and they have Dwayne Brown, but Makai Becton has been working out and getting, getting better, but they still need more depth on that offensive line because Max Mitchell, coming back from his blood clot situation. Um, they have a few amount of tackles, but not enough to fully support an older Aaron Rodgers. So they're going to be taking Broderick Jones here out of Georgia to help solidify this offensive line, keep uh, Aaron Rodgers safe, and get that running game going with Brees Hall. So Broderick Roger Jones is a raw lineman. Uh, who showed great upside in the combine, but this is definitely the group and characters that he could build around here uh, along a veter alongside a veteran like Dwayne Brown as well. So perfect selection here for the, the um, New York Jets here and Broderick Jones to help support Aaron Rodgers in this offense. Uh, next, we have the Washington Commanders. At pick 16 here, we have the Washington Commanders. Now, Ron Rivera and this group here, uh, they have a couple options here. They do need cornerback, but uh, the way River uh, Riverboat Ron runs his offense here, I feel like they're going to go offensive line here. And someone that's been really moving up boards lately has been Darnell Wright, all right? Tackle out of Tennessee. Uh, he did not allow a single sack. Uh, to Hendon Hooker last season. Outstanding um, of what we saw from him. So Washington Commanders will be building up that offensive line, uh, helping uh, their dual threat uh, running backs. And now Sam Howell as the quarterback of this offense here, Darnell Wright for the Washington Commanders. Um, at pick 17, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers, and we're going to go with the connection here at cornerback, okay? Christian Gonzalez, uh, who was up here, who's highly, highly talented, but the question mark is his toughness. Uh, but someone that has a clear connection to the Pittsburgh Steelers will be Joey Porter Jr. I think they're going to be going with the cornerback here in Joey Porter Jr., who's a great one-on-one -on -one cover corner here. Uh, perfect fit for this uh, Steelers organization. They'll be taking him at pick 17. At pick 18, we have the Detroit Lions. This is going to be their second selection in the first round. First, they went with Jalen Carter falling all the way to number six there. Uh, he's going to be fine in that environment, hopefully, um, away from Georgia, away from those uh, bad negative influences on him. And definitely in a new environment with that core of coaches that they got with the Detroit Lions. Great environment there. Now they're going to be looking towards, I think, offensively and at the tight end position. This is a perfect spot for Dalton Kincaid here. Um, obviously, the number one tight end for the Detroit Lions is Brock Wright. So they need huge talent. All right. Someone that they're going to obviously want to have. They gave up TJ Hawkinson to the Minnesota Vikings. So they're going to be filling in that spot at the tight end with Dalton Kincaid. All right. Next, we have uh, Tampa Bay Bucks. 
here at pick number 19 and they need a ton of help on that offensive line um, alongside of Tristan Wirth. They're going to be going offensive tackle here in Anton Harrison out of Oklahoma. A highly talented tackle there that they're going to be help bolstering up that offensive line for their future quarterback to come because right now they have uh, Baker Mayfield um, who we'll see what happens with him and they also somehow like Kyle Trask but they're going to need to protect their quarterback either way okay and then last but not least the Seattle Seahawks at pick number 20 here I think they're going to be going with a wide receiver here the best one available clearly is going to be Quentin Johnston here earlier during the NCAA uh, tournament there he was the guy that was the number one wide receiver he has elite elite speed and talent he's great in the open field um, we have a little bit of a question Question mark with his contested catch ability, uh, but he does have the size, a good, very good size and speed combination, and the, the perfect fit for the Seattle Seahawks here. They they smash with Will Anderson at edge, and then at pick number twenty, they get a highly talented wide receiver in Quinn Johnson that can learn behind two veteran wide receivers. I think this is a great fit here. The Seattle Seahawks finally get their number three wide receiver and help out Geno Smith at. As well so uh, that those are gonna be our selections from picks 11 through 20 part 3 is gonna be coming very soon so thank you guys for tuning in and I'll be back with another video very soon all right peace out